Are the cows impregnated often just to produce milk? And is this process upsetting or cruel? Let's have a look at it. Let me explain to you how this farm operates, the nature of a cow's pregnancy, and about artificial insemination, otherwise known as AI. On this farm, we no longer use AI. However, all of the bulls on our farm are the product of artificial insemination. For a heifer's first pregnancy, she will mate with a Jersey bull. This is to stop prolapse because a Jersey bull in stature is quite a smaller animal compared to a Frisian bull. Prolapse can occur when a calf is too large for the heifer birthing the calf. That sustained pressure on the abdomen is what can cause prolapse. Heifers who are proportionately fat can also be prone to prolapse when calving due to sustained pressure on the abdomen as well from the fat. Nine months later, after that wonderful heifer has made sweet, beautiful love with that Jersey bull, a calf will be born. Once the heifer has given birth, they will then begin to lactate. Initially, the calf will drink the colostrum before the heifer is brought to the dairy. After this period, there may still be some colostrum in the milk and that is separated by us. That colostrum does not reach it to the vat. It does not contaminate the milk that you drink. Just a quick footnote, all calves are still fed on milk or milk replacer. They aren't starved. <laughs> Within a few months, the heifer, now a cow, will go and heat again. This is when a Frisian bull comes to play. This here is a young bull. For all remaining pregnancies, a Frisian bull just like this one is used. As cows age, prolapse becomes less of an issue. They are less prone to it. It's barely an issue on this farm. Cows will stop lactating when several months into pregnancy. This is called a dry cow. They go and leave from work for a few months. The cycle continues for many years. This is nature at its finest. This is not cruel. This is not upsetting. We record everything. When a cow mates with a bull, when a cow has a calf, and when a cow ceases to lactate, when it's known to be a dry cow. Artificial insemination is often likened to rape by militant vegans. This is wrong on so many levels. It trivializes rape, something which is so traumatic and is such a tragedy for so many beautiful people. It also implies that dairy farmers torture their animals, which is simply not true. Artificial insemination is not distressing or traumatic for the cows.